Hi, I'm Dr. Dmitry Koshevnikov, and I'm a physician in the Yale Palliative Care Program and assistant professor at the Yale School of Medicine in the Department of Internal Medicine. I'm excited to talk to you today about our systematic review entitled Simulation Training in Palliative Care, State of the Art and Future Directions. Palliative care is defined by the World Health Organization as an approach that improves the quality of life of patients and their families facing life-threatening illness through the prevention and relief of suffering by means of early identification and impeccable assessment and treatment of pain and other problems, physical, psychosocial, and spiritual. Palliative care can be delivered at any stage of a serious illness and can be provided concurrently with curative or disease-modifying therapies. Despite our best efforts, it is projected that there will be a shortage of palliative care specialists over the next 20 years. To meet the growing demands for high-quality palliative care, we need to continue to provide education around primary palliative care, the basic palliative care skills that all clinicians who care for seriously ill patients should possess. In addition to traditional teaching methods, including didactic lectures, small group workshops, and self-directed learning modules, simulation-based medical education, or SBME, has been adopted in recent years as an additional modality to deliver training in the skills across multiple specialties and levels of training. Our paper describes the current state of the art of SBME in palliative care education through a systematic review of the literature. We conducted a search using three databases, PubMed, Embase, and Web of Science. The initial search identified 427 articles. However, after applying our exclusion criteria, 78 articles remained. Of the 78 studies we reviewed, 76% of them involved learners from medicine and 38% from nursing, while social work and spiritual care were represented in only 6% and 3% respectively. We noted that only 16% of studies involved collaboration between participants at different levels of training. The standardized patient encounter was the most common method of simulation, seen in about 68% of studies. The most commonly addressed skills were related to eliciting treatment preferences, delivering bad news, and providing empathic communication. Symptom management skills were only addressed in 13% of studies. We also found that 62% of simulation experiences were evaluated using subjective participant feedback, while only 17% of them assessed efficacy using a post-simulation OSCE to test for the acquisition of skills. Only 4% examined patient-level outcomes. Surprisingly, 22% of studies did not measure any outcomes at all. Given our findings, we recommend that educators design palliative care SBME for a broader range of learners in many health professions to promote interdisciplinary learning. We advocate for an expansion of skill content, especially surrounding symptom management education. Finally, we recommend that evaluation of SBME in palliative care education should be more rigorous with a stronger focus on patient level outcomes. We invite you to read our paper for an in-depth look at our results and further discussion of other relevant themes. Thank you.